beware of the modern day remaster and that is a situation with dead rising that is getting a deluxe remaster that is going to have a heavy dose of censorship and we kind of saw this with a multitude of other remasters that have come out i'm talking about tomb raider tomb raider had the same type of censorship that we're expected to see in dead rising if you didn't know anything about the tomb raider remaster we saw small details kind of censored because they didn't think it fit the modern day taste of course of our modern day society and they had to censor a little bit of posters some jackets that to do things that were completely unnecessary because the game itself was already a tasteful game at the time it was released and i think a lot of people were hoping to get that game remastered in the way that it was meant to be and i think we did for the most part for all the tomb raider 1 through 3 remaster except some of these additions that they went back on and did remove the censorship for these items so i think the remaster itself is good but it made us aware of what to expect from remasters from other less competent developers and i think that's what we're seeing with dead rising as it comes out with a remaster that is changing character models and changing the overall look and feel of the story and i think a lot of people are upset with that i like the way it looks at least the, the remaster itself it looks way better than it did in the past but that's the monkey paw of it of this situation where you can get this better looking version of dead rising but you're going to get the modern day sensibilities injected into the game and i think the biggest thing that we saw people are complaining about is the race swaps of a lot of the characters that have come out we see this one specifically who's supposed to be larry chang but he's a completely different character he had to be made into a white guy because only white men are allowed to be evil nowadays within the video gaming industry and this is kind of a sad trope that is annoying and boring because you know when you see a lot of these characters you can expect their character arc to be changed into one direction i think with remasters it's a lot more difficult to do that that's why it's more jarring to see that because we already have the story set in stone but they did race swap this character because they felt like it was insensitive to have a bad character be an asian character which is kind of absurd when you think about it but when you look at the the old character model i think it fit more just the overall design and the the atmosphere and the kind of his presence it made sense that he kind of looked like this and he was kind of a maniac and i think that's the thing people were expecting to see all the elements of the game brought back but now we're getting these small tiny details changed because we have people that can't get away from themselves to make a good game because they're hung up on modern day political progressive thought processes rather than remastering the game in the way it was meant to be and i think this is the thing that people are scared of when we hear they're gonna update a remaster from the 2000s because we have a lot of good games from the 2000s that we do want to see upgraded but we're fearful that these upgrades will come with modern day pro political progressive angles and takes on society and we really don't care for that and i think that's the situation specifically with dead rising right now where we had a few censorship details that are mostly cosmetic and we have some censorship of particular characters where some of their clothes where their boobs are kind of more exposed that to restrict it because modern day sensibility video game characters can't have their boobs out only real life human beings that are selling themselves online for male attention those women can have their boobs out not video game characters and this is where we get this hypocrisy that we get from these political progressive activists where they are hateful of anything that has a 3d female character model exposed in any sort of way but they're very happy and champion any woman that is selling themselves out in the street because that is women's empowerment for some reason and i think this is the thing that i find confusing the most where we have these people that are actively selling themselves and being games journalists and now they're hateful of anything that has that same kind of representation that they always demand and i think this is a situation that we're seeing with dead rising where people wouldn't have a problem with this if everyone wasn't such a hypocrite about the things that they did if they were censoring everything outside of video games i'll be like okay at least they're consistent but the inconsistency is the most annoying part for me where you're inconsistent in your own thoughts i think that's the thing that we're seeing from the activists and developers that are coming into the space they just hate that there's a group of people that love video games and they can't have influence over that group of people and i think that's what we're seeing bearing out in the video game industry today where we're getting these changes 
mostly because the people involved with these changes hate that gamers are enjoying themselves and they're not involved in their political discourse and i think that's the unsatisfactory thing for them where they have to see these gamers enjoy themselves without their influence and i think that influence is carrying over into these remasters where we're getting a bunch of character redesigns and overall elements taken out i don't even know what they're going to do to the story now because if they're willing to change and race swap characters they're definitely going to do things to the story and i think the story might be too much for this modern day audience that is scared of everything that has any sort of challenging topics or funny characteristics and i think that's the situation that we're seeing play out all over the video gaming industry even nintendo's being influenced this with paper mario where they're changing random elements of the game calling characters lgbtq when they were never were that just comes back to that sensibility of people that are working on the american American side of the western video gaming industry where they always hung up on this idea where they have to placate to an audience of no one that doesn't play games rather than placating to the audience of gamers that actually are looking forward to this game in its original essence at least just with upgraded graphics and we're not getting that and i think that's the thing that i'm frustrated with this game in general that we're just getting a game that may not be the same game because people working on it just don't care about this game don't love this game and they're just coming out with their own agenda that is in a direct contrast with the game itself and i think that's the thing that a lot of gamers are just sad about and i'm sad about it but there's always a way we can stop this and that is the best way to stop this is just not buying these games and i think that's the situation we're going to be put in with this game if it is editing so much pieces of the game to such a degree where it's not even the same game anymore then we just have to not buy the game and i think that is a hard pill to swallow for a lot of people that are fans of this or we can just wait for the pc release and have our own modding and editing but a lot of these mods are being curtailed by a lot of these modding platforms which are censoring some of the additions and changes that are happening so you're gonna have to find a different modding site in particular nexus mod is known for censoring things that they deem as politically incorrect so we have these same minds in the even the modding space trying to censor people from doing things that they want with their games i think that's the thing that we can expect from this we can expect a lot of changes if they're willing to wait race swap a character over this it is showing that they're willing to do a lot more to the story and the overall designs of other characters and maybe changing massive amount of the story itself just because they want to hold these sensitive values that they have and bring it to an old game from the past and i think it comes back down to the thought process of i guess 1984 where people really want to rewrite the past in the their own image and i think we're seeing that play out with this regime of people that are within the games development sphere that are within politics itself because they're coming from politics and they feel like they need to influence the gamers because that is not a space they have influence in and i think that it's playing out right now where we have consultancy firms like sweet baby Inc. coming in we have all these other consultancy firms like gamer x black girl gamers hit detection There's so much consultancy firms that have the same idea that they need to reshape the entire industry in their own image even though they're not gamers themselves they don't care about games they're hired as dei hires to change some of their games and now we're seeing the the fallout where everything is in danger especially remasters and i think they're supposed to be the safest bets now they're not as safe anymore because they're gonna rewrite those in the past as well and i think that is the scary thing about the situation hopefully things work out in a way where we can actually get this game in a better way if we cause enough ruckus where we're saying why are you changing this but i doubt it this is a, a studio i think it's with capcom they they don't care about this they're going to do whatever they want and essentially we're going to get a game that is not in line with the original and that is the sad state of affairs for modern day gaming but you tell me what you think about the situation do you think they are going to add more censorship to this game i think absolutely the story is going to be different and it's a sad state of affairs for gaming but you leave a comment tell me what you think like share subscribe this wagner knows why catch you next time